right? So there's some things that you will not get to hear from me. You can hear them out there, but I won't confirm them for you. And if, especially if those things are very personal to me, you know, what I have learned to do is ask, even ask God, show me who I should talk to. Mm -hmm. That in, the, in and of itself, show me who I should talk to. I don't want to go talk to Terry if Terry is not the right person to talk to. I don't want to spend my, my money on a therapist if that's not going to take care of me. But I have learned that of all things, pouring out my soul to God. You know, the Bible says that I waited patiently for the Lord. Yeah? yeah? And he saw me through. So Julie, what has your experience been with, you know, and not just the insecurities that uh, Terry mentioned. What has your experience as a mother been uh, in dealing with insecurities? And, you know, where in the word of God or what has kept you going has has it been Mr. Tiani or Leo that <laughs> make things worse? Or what, what has that looked like for you? Um, praise God. Amen. Now, just for the single girls, Maggie. <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot. Um, insecurity is part of the menu when you're a mother, when you're a wife, and you have to try and find the right channel, as Sheila mentioned, to deal with your insecurities. It's not one of those things like a fruit salad, you'll, you'll just put some ranch or Southwest Asian sauce and have it down. You don't, you can do it like that. You have to learn to pray about your insecurities. And I have learned from Hannah in the Praise Bible. Mm -hmm. No matter the whispers that nobody hears the prayers you're praying about, God will always turn around and make positive your insecurities. Some of the insecurities I'll mention as a mother is you, you get scared, especially when the children start going to school. You have that fear of who are they going to mingle with. Because every day, trust me, a child comes home with a new vocabulary. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, no, 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 it wasn't me. It wasn't this house. I know the channels they watch, the, it didn't come from here. You cannot control that. But when you pray, the private time of praying and seeking counsel with the one person that would help you address the insecurity is very important. You cannot address insecurities with everybody because it is about your family. You must be very careful what you put out there because it may come back and bite you. So you have to be very careful. So I have learned to pray like Hannah and trust God that the prayers you're investing right now, they will bear fruit because it doesn't go in vain when you wait on the Lord. Amen. God. Amen. All right, let's go to Miss Hilda over here. Uh, talk to us about how you dealt with any kind of insecurity. Um, like I said, when you learn to listen to these children, or when I learn to listen to him, I'll get information from him that things that he's struggling with. And like she said, that uh, when you pray, it, it happens. I mean, what you pray for, it may not happen that time, mm -hmm. but you'll see it, it eventually. Mm -hmm. And then something else that I learned is that uh, during the time that you're praying for that child, there's a tendency of someone like calling you, like it wants to, for example, if there's something going wrong with your child and then you're praying for that child, someone will come to you, talk, maybe call you on the phone, want to talk about that what you're praying for, and you see now it goes back to when we started before. Yeah. So it's very good that like she said to be very, very careful who you share with your the, the things that your child is having trouble with. Praise God. 